Okay guys, we're back here in this corner again because the sun has moved back there and it will continue to move back there, improving conditions front here. Um, so yeah, what you're listening to outside is the garbage collection truck. That sometimes smells like a monster, but right now it doesn't seem to be doing that. Uh, so you're going to be hearing it for as long as it's still around. But we continue because time is of the essence. Uh, Alrighty, cool. I was explaining this like marvel of a moisturizer that I made um, and how it is that I gained, I got results like within just a matter of hours, okay? I explained to you that I put my hair growth oil in here, I put the last, the, like pretty much 60 ml, mills all of my uh, tissue oil from Saltone. I also added some coconut oil and then I, I added like two to two and a half tablespoons of honey and mixed it up, mixed it up, mixed it up. I then put it in the bathroom because that's where I am going to be using it. Uh, I took advice, counsel from one YouTuber that spoke about how she would apply uh, tissue oil once when her skin was still damp, uh, basically fresh out of the shower. So I was like, let me apply this moisture then. And and guys the results the results okay uh, so I put this on on my body only first because I can't apply moisturizer as the first layer all right when it comes to my face but on my body that's way I, I did this right in when I was still in the shower guys let me just look at my skin like y'all can nobody deny nothing anyway whatever cool beans and bananas right so here it is this moisturizer of mine that's what it looks like in my hands all right i've uh, applied a little bit more on my hands but i want to see you than i would for just moisturizing my hands i want to show you not see you <laughs> i want to show you just how it goes on all right uh guys everything is smooth my my the, the skin around my boobs the skin around my legs my feet i told i, I spoke about how my feet are kind of yeah suffering from the african trauma <laughs> And now they're moisturized uh, like all night they felt so good in my bed I kept on rubbing my feet next to each other like that and I was like I can't believe my feet feel like this so just as you've applied it it feels like any other moisturizer after applying it except thicker more lust lustrous is that the word mm -hmm. whoa right but the effects come in hours later like for me all moisturizer looks like this just after you've heard it on but then after a couple of hours, it's like, moisture, moisture, where, who, what, for any, it's gone. For me, it was the lasting impact. And like I said, my elbows, my elbows, which, especially this side, which I tend to lean on my table a whole bunch, are just like not ashy anymore, perpetually dry, were they before, but now they're not ashy. And those are my hands. Look, look at my hands. Let's just cap, cap the moisture on the hands. I've never been a fan of my hands. I've always thought they were kind of mannish, but who cares? Because now they're moisturized mannish hands. Okay, like, dig it. All right. Yes, guys, like, what in the world? I love this stuff. I love it and it's like full it's 1,000 milliliters full like lasting a sister some time and precisely because I apply it on damp skin or moistish skin skin that's out of the shower not damp not wet don't put it on wet skin like all right wipe your body with your wash rag so that it's not like just dripping with water and then apply the moisture because of the fact that you are applying it on such moist skin a little goes a long way you know how much easier it is to get product all over your body when it's still kind of damp but it's just like hair yeah so when just one scoop from like your aqueous cream tub you can literally just go all over your body so it lasts you a lot longer i did not put as much moisturizer as i would have to when i am completely bone dry because i've allowed my skin to dry a whole bunch first precisely because my my skin was still so wet and it just i drank it drank it drank it then put on my towel went to the kitchen where i store in that uh cabinet that i showed you guys at the beginning part of the series my face um uh, uh, creams so now i'm about to explain to you what the same body butter has done for my face and back in the day as well by the way you guys i used to use for moisturizer my body butter on my face and i loved it 
I absolutely loved it. During the time when I was on Roaccutin, you know how drying Roaccutin can be? You can look like a ghost and your lips be cracking like all over the show. I used that body butter mixed with my tissue oil and I didn't even look like I was on Roaccutin. I was always wearing lipstick so don't nobody see that my lips have lost their pigment. And so yeah, people couldn't tell that I was on Roaccutin. People on Roaccutin, you see it. You see it. They're so dry. They are so dry. You see it. I had a friend that took it when she was in university and she was barely recognizable for the number of months that she was on the product. Well, when I was using Rakuten, I used that body butter. I had been prescribed by the dermatologist Cetaphil products. They didn't work to moisturize me, so I just like disregarded what the dermatologist recommended and I used those body butters and that's what worked for me. Okay, so that's just how highly, heavily moisturizing um, this, this stuff is. Like, look, guys, look, I mean, who are like, what? Come on, y'all. I pop in, cling, pop in, cling, and it's popping even more after I've taken a shower. Right now, it's been a couple of hours since I, in fact, it's been since yesterday that I showered. Like, what? And Cam, now let me tell you, the biggest miracle was in my face, and literally, what happened on my face is what made me decide to do this, like, you know, explanation of a change of skincare routine regime. Because I just, guys, like, it's it's about the face, like, it's about the, even my big forehead be popping. Like even in the part that has been covered by material, it's popping. The level of moisture. Now, what do I attribute all this moisture to? Like I said in my previous part, honey is a humectant. Okay, um, so too is this glycerin, a humectant. So when you add this, you add humectants. Humectants uh, preserve moisture in your skin. They basically make sure that you stay nice and hydrated. But in a dry climate, in an environment where it's just like all cracked up and wintry, uh, a humectant. It can uh, draw moisture from out of your own face and so dry you out even more but in a human climate a humectant is excellent because then it draws them from the sky and you get that dewy look all right because it's constantly moisturizing you all day long now i did not have the power of hyaluronic acid in here because ain't nobody got that money i'm gonna mind and I, I was tempted to put us you know just a drop of my hyaluronic acid in here but i was like that stuff I mean, I might have bought it cheaply, but I'm broke. Like, I'm not trying to waste the hyaluronic acid I use on my face in my body moisturizer. I've got some forms of humectants in my body butter, even though they're not quite the powerhouse that hyaluronic acid are is. So let me just like stick to the glycerin and the honey, okay? Uh, where it is that now these this this humectant grab moisture was from within the product itself. Do you understand? Within the product itself, all these oils, all this. Um, all these emollients, like everything that your skin needs, it's in this one cream. Do you understand? And remember, I already apply hyaluronic acid in my uh, on my face, so the results that I got were from also a tweak in my skincare regime. Now, yesterday when I was busy looking at online for advice on the efficacy of tissue oil and whatnot, because I was all sad that I have to stop using tissue oil, blah, nah, 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 and I wanted to cry. Mm. I then in like uh, googled retinol yes thank you very much I was like retinol results before and after because I wanted to compare whatever was happening with the retinol that I was using on my face with other people and the amount of time that it took for them to start seeing results on YouTube they say wait five months but there are people who are like look I got this in one week or two weeks so I was like okay let me just check to see before and after results of retinol and when I googled retinol guys I found my three pack thing being sold in the Google shop I was like huh I thought this thing was only found at Chinatown I felt kind of cheated and robbed because online it was 95 rands and Chinatown I bought it for 120 bucks so basically the Lord is telling me honey next time don't even bow there to go to Chinatown to buy that three pack buy it online it's only 95 bucks um, and it's same day delivery you can like get it on the same day right in South Africa so I was like okay so a uh, chop of 30 bucks I got that uh, pack that I explained to you guys in the previous parts for for a premium it appears because online it is selling through take a lot for only 95 rands so forget about it Chinatown I'm not buying it from you anymore I get cookies and bananas but because I found it on take a lot I decided to go into the review section of take a lot for this product to see how other people that have used the exact same kind of retinol that I'm using are experiencing their results right um, clicked on it guys and I was shocked out of my mind to find that there are literally thousands of reviews thousands okay 
on this product and it had a 4 out of 5 rating star. It had 4 out of 5 star rating. So if that is not enough evidence for the fact that the Lord is leading me in the right direction, guys, I don't know what is. People that have used it in this nation and I don't know if, it, if people abroad commented, but I think it was lovely South African um, commenters, uh, reviewers uh, of this particular product. They rated it 4 out of 5 in totality, the thousands of them. Law of large numbers. You know when something tends towards a particular number after using a whole bunch of people that that is the most accurate description of what in the world under heaven is going to be going on here so if it, it, it got a four out of five rating from thousands of reviewers i d of course did not get to read all of the reviews but the bible says that at the council of two or three witnesses a matter is established so i could not a a ignore the council of people that reviewed this product i couldn't ignore it you guys know that my routine in applying this retinol and this vitamin c and this hyaluronic acid on my face was in the evenings after taking a shower i would first put on the vitamin c and then i would go in with the hyaluronic acid and then i would go in with the retinol all at once and pretty much every day and i told you guys that my skin is used to active so i did not get any kind of irritation uh, type establishment thing so that's just what i've been doing and i've gotten some results but apparently allegedly i could get better results and guys i got them within 24 hours of taking counsel like i said the scriptures say at uh, the council of two or three witnesses a matter is established so based on applying biblical principles i decided to reluctantly though because i was like but i've already got so much on my plate change tweak up my regime in tandem with what all these reviewers online were saying the lord establishes steps the lord establishes steps guys like he cares for the big things and the small things including things like skincare you might think he doesn't care but he cared enough for me to aid me in that particular regard crank cat what do you want stop meowing okay yeah no so first of all four out of five review literally the grand majority the bulk of the chunk <laughs> Sorry, I have to get my my cat food. Wabora, wabora. Why don't you go and eat kunchun? Cause when I did you go go ding, kaze ju. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna see you. Is that only over eight? Okay, cool beans and bananas. So now that my cat is, uh, you know, gnawing away at some food over there, we're gonna be content. Okay, cool beans and bananas, right? So only a, like out of the grand majority of people were just like they could not for the life of them believe what this product had done. And a lot of them spoke about seeing results within like literally a day, a week and whatnot. And uh, the, the overwhelming like uh, general comment there was how to use it, how to use it. Uh, they first said, well, yay, this stuff really worked for me. And you know, it reduced my acne. First of all, it cleared uh, my acne. It like lightened my dark spots. Some woman, one woman spoke about how it is that the vitamin C even removed the dark circles around her eyes Which is something that sometimes I struggle with uh, and I was just like, you know, whoa, okay So I chose right and one of the things that they would also keep saying was and to think that all these years I have been purchasing such expensive retinol only to find that this is working so well for me The one woman went so far as to say that she Experienced better results with this product than what it is that was the store-bought very expensive retinol that she was purchasing So I was like, whoa, God led me like he, he totally led me because I'm not the only person raving about this it's got like a whole full star review on um on take a lot right so i was like okay cool very well my product is perfect but the core counsel wasn't how it is used these people spoke about how the only downside with the product is that it doesn't come with instructions on how to use it so let me go on right ahead and give you counsel and a lot of these men and women went on right ahead to a counsel that you should first use first of all you should separate vitamin c and retinol day and night you can't use them together because then it's going to cause much irritation and this is gonna to be too much like chemistry happening in your face so you should use the vitamin C with the hyaluronic acid in the morning after you shower you must put the hyaluronic acid first then the vitamin C and then go in with your moisturizer be on your merry way with your sunscreen go to work uh, in the evenings same process hyaluronic acid first but then go in with the retinol and even then twice a week or, or two, two or three times a week uh, because retinol can be quite strong don't use it every single day right uh, so I was like okay so I've been using the retinol every day mm, I don't know if I'm gonna continue continue doing that but these people say that I shouldn't but I don't see why not every day if my skin can tolerate it so I was like no the reason why they're saying only use it um like two or three times a week is because they haven't yet developed a tolerance for it I have I can use it daily but the separation was important you know everybody just came in like it was just an overwhelming consensus that I couldn't ignore that they kept on saying don't mix the vitamin c with the retinol it was just such an overwhelming consensus that I remember the scripture where God said that at, at 
at the council of two or three witnesses a matter is established so i was like i can't just ignore them i can't just ignore them i can't just be like look this is my way and i'm gonna do it because i'm frank sinatra so i decided that uh, even though i'm lazy to wash my face twice a day because i've been washing my face only once a day when i shower my whole body because i'm stressed guys i don't have time to be doing all that extra admin i'm not a regular human being i'm a suffering saint and i'm persecuted and i don't go anywhere i don't do anything so i don't even have much time to get all dirty and dusty enough to have to bath or wash my face twice a day but if at all that's gonna take care of my skin then let me do that okay let me do that so i was like okay i will try to wash my face in the morning and do hyaluronic acid and vitamin c then um and then in the evenings that's when i'll do the retinol and i will still continue to do the retinol daily uh what this will mean for me is that um my hyaluronic acid is gonna run out real fast because i use it both times of the day but i guess we're gonna have to be super sparing over and above the sparing that we are in if it works like a charm then we're running with it we're running with it if it works like a charm then we're running with it and i expect that maybe to perhaps gather insights over you know a week two weeks maybe a month but guys it was overnight <laughs> overnight if anything i could see the results last night after doing it the right way but i was like it's just last night it was me what i woke up when i woke up looking like a glowing like 20 year old 22 year old model when i for me it was like usually when i wake up after rubbing my unfortunate face on my cotton sheets all night long i stopped sleeping with a silk scarf because of the fungal acne i told you guys i got fungal acne and i i, I just tried to get rid of everything that was messing up so for me it was like the cotton sheets before the cotton before i started sleeping with the silk scarf i didn't have fungal acne but it continued and continued so i was like if i could if i rubbed my face on a cotton scarf because to make sure that my what i sleep on is clean I, I put a like a scarf the one that's on my head right now but a clean one right uh, a washed one i put it on my uh, bed surface i don't sleep with a pillow because i can't handle pillows for whatever reason okay like they make my neck hurt so i sleep on like a, the bed flat as it is that's me right so i put uh, for my pillow i put a scarf so that every night or every two nights i've got a clean like sheet on my face um, that even though I don't change my bed linen I change what my face lays on at night okay but it's cotton it's cotton so here it is that I'm rubbing my face against um, this cotton you know uh, on that, that tends to kind of dry me out over the night and I woke up still with my face so iridescent it's the thing that I was talking about with how it is that the skin on my body did not I didn't get out of my sheets dry because of this moisturizer and I was like whoa I was like whoa because I've got these cotton sheets and they be just drinking up all the moisture out of my body and yet I am still so heavily moisturized I attribute that to the honey to the glycerin the oils all of them the sealing of the moisture it, it all got drunk in because of the humectant properties of honey for instance I was like hey, Beto, I'm onto something very heavy and deep here Jesus is helping a sister out Jesus is helping a sister out so how about we help human beings out there in these streets to do a better thing also you know what I mean like yeah like this this share sharing is caring um type establishment thing so that that was just like my general mm, mind uh said right yo guys but with the face what i did with the face uh i after showering i washed my hands because remember i moisturized my body first on damp skin uh-huh yeah i washed my hands so there's no product in my hands at all because my hands had to be product free for me to use them to apply the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin c so i went in then with the hyaluronic acid first let it dry and then went in with the vitamin c let that dry remember I've got a serum for scar okay I went in with that um, on my face and then once I was done went came back here with my body fully moisturized and what have you and I applied indeed as usual my aloe vera and then I put on the snail cream the snail the snail gel the gel and uh, once all that had dried and absorbed into my skin I then took a small negligible amount uh, okay so this is the one that I leave in the bathroom to moisturize my body but I put a little bit of product in here for you know moisturizing my face it's the exact same product grabbed this and you know moisturized my hands with it because remember my hands were now dry uh, because I had washed product out and what residue was left on my hands like you know when you moisturize your hands they still kind of stay with some moisture on the surface that residue that was left on my hands that's what I used for moisture on my face so that's how sparing I was all those oils all that goodness a little of it goes a very long way put it on my face as moisture no tightness nothing and already I was kind of like okay okay cool 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 this is 
I, this is I, this is I. And then, and then, guess what I did? Because I already have to be very careful when it comes to oils on my face. Even though these are preserved with parabens and all these different kinds of preservatives that you find in these products, I still had to be super careful. So in the day, when I was busy researching tissue oils and retinol and whatnot and reading reviews on my, you know, little three-pack products and what have you, I also went in the house to try and see if I can't find an antifungal because at the end of the day, I knew that this is fungal acne. It's fungal acne and I've got to test if at all, you know, I'm onto something. I gotta test it. So I went into my mom's stash. My mom struggles with all different kinds of like things. She's got so much medicine I can't even like, yeah, uh, describe to you. And so I was looking for like uh, ointments, ointments to see if my mother does not have like a fungal ointment because we like this is a hereditary predisp predisposition all right and lo and behold i found one i found a cream that is fungal in nature that deals with fungal infections like ringworm and like fungal rashes uh itchy scalp like dendra whatever i found a, a topical antiseptic or antibiotic or whatever for the dealing with fungal issues in my mom's stash and it's quite spent it's used up like she's used quite a bit of it because she's got the same issues that I do right but I took it I took it because I know that my mom can afford to get another one and I went online to research the price of it and lo and behold guess what what this game Netflix 45 rand it's cheaper even than Bactroban I found a fungal ointment by the name of guys you know let's move on to the next part so we can explain this because I don't want I don't like to speak for longer than 20 minutes I don't go